We have to stop the anti-Semitism that's just uh, pervading our country right now. And Biden has to do something. Biden is supposed to be the voice of our country. And it's certainly not much of a voice. I don't think he's I don't think he's able to do it. I don't think he's got what it takes to do it, but he's got to. He's got to he's got to strengthen up and he's got to be heard. There was former President Trump calling on President Biden to take action against the rising anti-Semitism. He appeared on Hannity last night. House Speaker Mike Johnson announced more investigations into the anti-Israel protests on college campuses, in addition to the Education Committee's ongoing probe. Five more committees set to open their own investigations into different aspects of these protests, such as who is behind them, who is funding these protests, and whether foreign students on visas are also engaging in these demonstrations. The Speaker also calling on President Biden to visit at Columbia University to see the chaos for himself. Police were called in overnight again to clear agitators occupying Hamilton Hall. Joining me now is Florida Congresswoman Laura Lee. She's a member of the House Judiciary, Homeland Security, and Administration Committees. Congresswoman, thanks very much for being here this morning. Uh, you're on the Homeland Security Committee, and I want to start there. How worried are you that these uh, college uh, demonstrations include potential terrorists who want to create attacks on U.S. soil. That is absolutely a grave concern. And the first thing that we need to do is call this what it is. When these people take over campuses, occupy buildings, threaten and terrorize students who are Jewish, they're not protesters, they are criminals, and they need to be treated as such. Our university presidents have an obligation to keep their campuses safe. So in Congress, we want to ensure that what's happening on these campuses is coming to light, where are they getting their funding, what are they doing with federal tax dollars that go to campus, and what are they doing to keep every single student safe? It's absolutely right. President Biden should be speaking out about this. He should be condemning anti-Semitism anywhere that it occurs in America, uh, and certainly on these college campuses. And he's been, he has not even begun to do enough. He's been silent. So we need to be shutting these protests down the minute they start and ensuring that every single student is able to attend class, is able to do so safely. And that is absolutely the opposite of what we're seeing at, in higher education institutions across the country. So what have you learned, based on your own briefings on, on any of this, what have you learned in terms of who's behind this and who specifically are in these crowds? It's not all students. That's right. And those types of questions are exactly why uh, Speaker Johnson and House Republicans want to initiate investigations so that we can ask these questions of our universities. Where is their funding stream? Who are these people? Are they students? If they are students, are they here on visas? We need to make sure that we know who these people are and that they're being treated appropriately. And if they are a threat to our campuses or to our country, we find that out and we deal with it. Again, this is criminal conduct. This is not First Amendment expression. There is no right to engage in this kind of behavior and this kind of violence and destruction on college campuses. So as Congress, we have a real opportunity to get to the bottom of who who these people are, why they're here, and what their intentions are for our country. Well, Mahak, you made a, a good point earlier in saying that these tents are all the same, and they're from North Face. These are expensive tents. Yeah, they're $500 a piece. So you have to ask, this is a coordinated conspiracy and an attack on, on college campuses. This is not a college student that's able to afford this. This is outside money coming in. And as the Congresswoman has said, they have to investigate where this money's coming from. I have a hard time believing we'll know who these actors are because most of them, Maria, are masked. How do you ask questions of these masked individuals? And in terms of accountability, we're not going to see it at these university campuses. So we have to start in Congress. The first thing Congress can do is that $5 billion that they have given to these Ivy League institutions clawed back immediately. Make them feel the pain. They should not be allowed to wear these masks, by the way. Congresswoman, I want to get your take on what the Biden administration is, uh, is signaling. CBS News is reporting that the administration is now considering bringing certain Palestinians to the United States as refugees. Several U.S. agencies are already discussing resettling Palestinians who have immediate family members here who are American citizens or permanent residents. Congresswoman, is this the answer? 
One thing we know about this administration is they are completely incapable of safely and effectively managing immigration. We have been watching the catastrophe at the southern border since the inception of the Biden administration. And time and again, we have seen that they absolutely are unwilling and unable to keep track of who is coming into our country and where they are going. So we already know that the abuses of the visa process, the abuses of the parole process are extraordinary and have led to an absolute catastrophe that is affecting every community in America. The last thing the Biden administration needs to be doing right now is attempting to broaden or expand their policies and the influx of people coming to this country until such time as they are able to properly and lawfully process those applications and ensure that they know who these people are, where they're going in our country, and that every aspect of the immigration or visa process is following our law. Uh, I do not have any confidence that this administration will do that. Uh, we've seen it at the southern border, and, and until they get that under control, uh, they should not be even contemplating uh, a new a new direction for their immigration policies. I mean, Adam, what kind of a message does that send? Okay, you can go to college campuses with signs that say death to Israel, and we'll let more Palestinians into the country to be refugees. It's a bastardization of something that we all hold dear, which is free speech. Somehow to twist free speech into that kind of of, of, of expression, it's mind-boggling, and it, it shows you just how far these people are willing to go uh, to try to uh, uh, achieve the means they're looking to yeah. do. Uh, Congressman, I want to ask you about the status of the impeachment inquiry uh, that you and your colleagues have been working on and whether lawmakers are considering Biden's mishandling of classified documents.